Hello friends. Today we edit. In the last year or so, I've been experimenting with different editing software packages. We are in incredibly good times as photographers. The choices seem endless. And it also seems like each piece of software has its own specialty, which means that there is something for everyone. Today, we are editing in Skylem's Luminar Neo. I have been using it consistently for a few weeks now, and I really like it. It is a breath of fresh air, and it's become a part of my normal workflow because it has been easy to learn and it speeds up my workflow. I love efficiency. <laughs> and because I did like Luminar Neo so much, I accepted a sponsorship from them. So this video is sponsored by Skylum. A quick note on sponsorships on this channel. I only take sponsors when I like the product. I have built nearly 14 years of trust with my viewers on this channel. I am not about to break that hard earned trust by promoting something that I don't actually like. And that being said, sponsorships are a huge help in allowing me to continue creating videos for free every week here on the channel. So thank you very much to Skylum for sponsoring this video. And I do have an affiliate link in the description of this video, as well as a discount code for you. By the way, a quick note on pricing. I don't want to jump ahead too much, but this is important. There are options to subscribe and receive all of the updates that Skylum makes to Luminar Neo, but you can also purchase a perpetual license where you just pay once. And I know that there are some of you out there who will love that. Starting in the catalog screen, you can add and navigate your photos on the left, and you can see my albums that I added here so that it's easier to find certain sets of photos. For example, the first set of photos I want to look at are these panorama images. Now, I asked Raymond to go out and capture images for a panorama for me, and he captured 113 images. <laughs> That's a lot for today, but you can pull up to 100 images in the panorama stitching extension. This is Luminar Neo's latest edition. It is an add-on. You can purchase these additional extensions if you want them, which I like. If they included all of these in the software, it would certainly cost more, and not everyone wants all of these options. So back to panorama stitching let's choose this many images and pull them into the panorama stitching box i'll go into the options and make sure i have everything set the way i want these options help solve editing issues before they start for example if the lens had some vignetting that is going to translate into the panorama and you'll see inconsistent exposure across the frame one thing to note while the software is working on my file, the length of time this takes will depend upon your computer and your images. We are processing over 30 raw Nikon Z7 images, which are large files. So while I do have a fast computer, of course it's gonna take a bit of time to stitch the image together. Though that ended up taking maybe 60 seconds, the first thing you do is choose how the software is stitching the images. We are seeing so, so much more than a natural field of view. That being said, we want the image to look minimally distorted. Also, you can see that varying amounts of the entire scene are shown. So we'll choose this option and we can crop it if we like, though you can also crop later. Now it's time to edit. This is a TIFF file that has been created, so it has plenty of information in it to work with. And we are now in the e normal editing workflow. This is how I would edit any image, panorama or not. My initial thought with this photo is that the sky is really boring, and I'm gonna show you how to replace it with something more interesting. Sky replacement is what first drew my attention to Luminar Neo quite some time ago. There are some of you that love the idea and others that won't like it, but I think it's a cool feature if you want to use it. Before we get there though, I do want to edit the foreground of the image. I'm ignoring the sky, so I'm going to focus my attention on the ground. You know what, before I go any further, I want to get an idea of the lighting in the sky that I'm going to choose. Okay, in case you haven't seen any videos on this option, Sky AI completely replaces the sky in your image. The software comes with a bunch of skies, but you can also go in and purchase individual skies or even use your own image. 
I definitely want the golden look of sunrise or sunset, and I do want some clouds. I have three options in this category. Just from these little previews, I think this one is too boring. This one's too dramatic, but this one is a nice in-between. Beautiful. All right, after you choose your sky, you do have options to modify the appearance. Looking at this image, you can see that the sky is far more dramatic than the land portion of the image. If I were continuing to edit my image, unless I mask the image, which I can do in this software, but I'm not going to do here, um, I'll make sure that we do that. Uh, we'll do some masking in another image so that you can see it. Anyway, if I were to continue editing this image, I would be editing across the frame. Brightening exposure, for example, would brighten the sky and the land. In this case, that isn't what I want. Instead, I'm looking at the sky up against the land and getting an idea of what adjustments I want to make to ensure the finished product looks real. So, okay, I see that I will need to warm up the land color-wise and definitely add some contrast and maybe a bit of sharpness. Undoing the sky for now, let's move back into the edits. Actually, take a look at this. We've been working under tools here, but let's look at edits. This is your history. You can modify or even delete portions of your history here. Let's get back into the develop section and brighten the scene a bit more. Taking a look at the landscape section here, I can dehaze, but what I think is really going to transform this image is the golden hour slider. The sky I want to use is very golden, so using this is a shortcut to make the sky and land match up. I can see using this in a photo without sky replacement though, just to provide more warmth to the image. In this section of sliders, dehaze, golden hour, foliage enhancer, this is the perfect example of why Luminar Neo is good for those of us that value efficiency. Now, while the golden hour slider did a good job of bringing warmth into the scene, I do think I want to use white balance to adjust a little bit more. And the last thing I want to do is increase contrast. And then it's time to choose that sunset sky. Like I said before, you have options to change the position of the sky to flip it around, but I'm happy where we've landed here. Now, was this an actual scene that morning that Raymond went out with the camera? No. <laughs> Is this an accurate representation of how the desert looks sometimes? Absolutely. Am I going to go and sell this image? No. Personally, I would feel disingenuous doing that. But if I replace the sky and wanted to print the image to hang in my home, I don't see why I wouldn't do that. Let's move on to our next image. No, wait, I forgot. You can also do panorama stitching with a video. This is a video I captured with my phone at the Grand Canyon at sunrise. It was a beautiful morning. Let's drag it over. You can choose which parts of the video to include, then get the software going. Okay, that was fast. Uh, okay, all of this looks good, but I like that this one has the most image available top to bottom. And then we have the same cropping option. And let's create the panorama. This is amazing because the video was captured on my phone, the image is pretty much already edited. <laughs> this particular morning sunrise, it was unreal, and I don't really feel the need to do any additional edits. I love this. Moving into a portrait. This is the last image that I want to fully edit with you, but then I have a couple of images that I already edited, and I'll share with you some of what I did. The first thing I want to do is crop to get rid of some of the extra space above my head. And now let's look at my skin. This software has some pretty intense portraits tools where you can adjust how thin the person is, the color of their eyes. I'm not going to use all those options, but I do like to soften my skin a little bit. And also there is a lighting option. We didn't have any lighting with us on this day. So the software detects faces and you can brighten them as though you had a key light on them. And moving into the skin, I like to smooth it just a little bit. And actually, now that I'm zoomed out, I actually want to back off the smoothing a little. Okay, I said before that I would do some masking. Let's do that now. The software is going to look at the image to see what it thinks are included. In this case, they are correct. This is a portrait of a human. So let's choose it and it will mask me. Perfect. Now I can bring exposure a little brighter and add a little bit of contrast on me. 
without touching the beautifully soft and blurry background. And now I'm happy that I have a simple portrait. Let's look at a couple images that I already edited. In this image, I used a preset. Luminar Neo includes presets, but you also can purchase presets. And while you're here, let me show you. You can purchase LUTs, which is unique, and you can also purchase overlays. I was taking a look at this one the other day. It fits in perfectly with a project that I've been wanting to do for, gosh, for over a year. This would be the thing that brings it all together. But that is definitely a video for another day. So let's take a look at the history of edits that were made with this preset. The reason that this is cool is that it can be a learning tool for you. Plus, you can adjust any of these edits to fine tune the image to look just how you want. And the last image I want to look at today is this Milky Way image. I did a lot of editing to this particular photo. I used the noiseless raw option first. The software suggested that using the low noise reduction option would be best, which I did, but then I even reduced the luminance and color denoise options to preserve the details of the image. When denoising a Milky Way image, you can end up with a too soft looking Milky Way. From there, I adjusted white balance, exposure, shadows, highlights, saturation. I spent quite a bit of time making small adjustments here and there. So while there are a lot of AI options in this software, if you want to make all of the adjustments individually, like I did in this image, you absolutely can. I only have so much time here. We could sit here for hours because there really is so much to explore here, but I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> The YouTube channel for Luminar Neo has quite a number of videos showing you how to use the different options. So you can check them out and definitely let me know if there's anything in particular that you would like to see me use in a future video. And let me know what you think of the software. Do you use it? Is this new to you? My final thoughts are this. Luminar Neo is easy to use and it has a lot of flexibility. Plus, some really great features that allow me to be more efficient in my editing. And I think all of that is because when Skylum was creating this, they weren't trying to just follow the mold. Let's take Lightroom, for instance. There's nothing wrong with Lightroom. I still use it, but Adobe is saddled with their framework's legacy. They can't make any big changes to the software or else the users that have been using Adobe editing software for possibly decades, well, I just don't think they would be very happy. <laughs> so anyway, my point here is that Luminar Neo seems different and I like that. And that is what is leading me to continue using it. All right, remember, I have a link in the description of this video to check out Luminar Neo. And I also included my discount code for you in the description as well. You know, in case you like it as much as I do and you want to try it out as well. Thank you to Skylum for supporting this channel and thank you for watching.